what's going on guys and welcome back to tactical talks so in this video i'm going to be talking about my favorite edc component or my favorite edc thing something that i try to carry on me at all times um i've done videos in the past and you, you guys should go and check that out of my edc and a lot of people do ask me about what do i like to carry um one because i'm a prior marine and two because i'm a police officer and a lot of people just assume that i carry a ridiculous amount of stuff now my EDC is, is somewhat minimalistic, but there are a few things in there that maybe the average person doesn't carry. But when it's all said and done, I try to keep it as minimalistic as possible and just carry what I feel are the essentials. So go and check out that video. Something I've done in the past is I made a summertime EDC or a just 90% of the time EDC, and then I made a wintertime EDC. The only thing that really changes there, there's a couple of things that I may have upgraded, maybe knives, stuff like that. But the only thing that really changes is the gun that I carry. Nine times out of 10, I'm carrying my Glock 43. Um, go and check those videos out if you guys haven't seen my Glock 43, a nine millimeter. I got the Terran Tactical ex extended mags on there, so I do have a few more rounds than just a stock um, Glock 43. But that's what I carry on me majority of the time. In the summer, I'm sorry, in the winter time, when it gets colder and I'm wearing bigger clothes, that's really the only thing that changes as far as my EDC is concerned. I will switch over to maybe a Glock 17, or sometimes even my 1911, depending on how I feel, if I want to carry a bigger round. Now, I know a lot of people will say, you should carry this, you should carry that. That's just what I like to carry personally. I'm more of a, I'd rather have more rounds than the bigger round. But again, just my personal opinion, I'm not going to get into all that right now. With that being said, I do have people ask me, like, what should I carry, you know as an EDC item or, or how should I get started as far as EDC is concerned and for those of you who don't know what EDC is I know I keep saying that it's everyday carry it's things that I try to have on me every single day no matter where I'm at no matter where I'm going these are things that I like to have on me because they're things that I have proven necessary in day-to-day -day life now whether that's a knife whether that's a gun whatever I have going on these are the things that I carry on me 99% of the time to ensure that whatever comes up I kind of have a tool for that job now in a different video I'm gonna end up putting together a, a video showing you guys a bug out style bag or just a, an everyday carry bag of things that I don't like to carry on me but are nice to have around me something that I keep in my truck but again that's that's to come later but with that being said in this video I want to talk about what I feel is one of the most important things to carry and maybe one of the easiest things to carry it's fairly inexpensive it's something that you can carry pretty much any and everywhere, depending on where you go. Some places don't allow you to carry guns. Um, some places don't even allow you to carry knives in and out of different establishments, whether it's businesses, federal buildings, airports, different things like that. This item, at least from what I understand, or what I've, the research I've done, there's nothing saying that you can't carry one of these items. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what is he talking about? What I'm talking about, one of my most important EDC items is a flashlight. I have a few different flashlights here that I'm gonna show you guys, a few different options, from a little more expensive to inexpensive, and all of these, when I say expensive, the ones that I have here on the table that I'm going to be showing you guys are, are still inexpensive as opposed to some of the other lights that you can get. I don't like spending too much money if it's not necessary, but at the same token, I do like to spend money on a quality product to ensure that it's actually gonna work when I need it. So everything, all the ones that I have here are battery powered. I do have some uh, USB charging lights, um, rechargeable lights, or you can get rechargeable batteries for some of the ones that I have here. But what I like about these is there's a couple of them that are CR123 batteries, and then some of the other ones are just AAA batteries. It's just something that you can find anywhere. So in a pinch, no matter where I am, as long as I can get to a store, they got AAA batteries, I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about recharging. I don't have to look, worry about looking for a specialty battery. So the first light that I'm going to show you guys, this is the uh, Surefire. This is the 6P. I don't know that I did a video on this one. I probably should because this is a really good light. The first time I went to Iraq, which was back in, I think, 05, I bought this flashlight. And at the time, this light was the latest and greatest. Now, I don't have all the specs on it. I'll try to leave them linked down below so you guys can check them out. But at the time, this was a very good light. It was a, a, an expensive light at the time. But for that technology, this light was really good. I have since got the uh, LED adapter to make this brighter. And I think I paid $35, $40 for it on Amazon. 
but I didn't want to throw this light away because I really like this light. That's, you know, one of my favorite lights. I carry that one in my patrol vehicle. Another light that I love to death is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. This thing takes AAA batteries. Again, I'll try to leave the specs down, for, down below for you guys. Very small. I mean, it's, it's a little bit wider than a pin, so you barely notice that it's there. The next one I have is a Smith & Wesson light. Now, this one you may or may not be able to carry with you. just kind of depends on where you are, what the circumstances are. But this is a little twist cap light. It's not as bright as the other ones, but it is a nice little light. It's got a little clip for you to clip it on. And on the back side, it's got a window brake. So in my uniform, this is what I carry on my shoulder right here. It's just an extra light that I have. And if I'm in a situation where there's a vehicle accident, child locked in a vehicle, I need to get into that vehicle really quick. I have this to get into that uh, vehicle. And we're going to come back to this light here in a minute. Another light that I have is one that came with that Smith & Wesson light. is also another little Smith & Wesson light. This one takes AAAs as well. Again, not as bright. But in a pinch, when all my other batteries or all my other lights go out, this is a really cool light to have on standby. And again, I can use AAA batteries. You can find those things everywhere. This next light was a light that was given to me, and this is a very, very cheap light. The cool thing about this light, it's got the tail cap. It's fairly bright. It's got this little deal where you can extend and pull it. And I don't know if you guys can see that back there, but it'll make a bigger and smaller focus as far as that light's concerned. So depending on what I'm doing with this light, I actually do like this light because I can focus this light in on a smaller focal point as opposed to just flooding an area with light and uh, you know, and, and having that excess light that I don't necessarily need. So even though this is a very cheap light, I really do like this light. And this one's gonna be another one that we're gonna come back to here in a second. The last light I have, this thing sits in my truck. This light used to be black. Um, this is a stream light, it's the Protec 2LX. I got this light from my department, and it's a very good light. Again, it's got the tail cap, LED. Don't know the full specs on it off the top of my head, but this light gets really hot. It's really bright for the package that it is. And, I, and it's, this thing, I believe, takes the CR123 batteries. But what I really like about these lights and why I feel like these are, are a very important part of your EDC is a lot of these companies that are making flashlights, if you guys can see this, all of these lights here, with the exception of that little Stylus Pro that I showed you guys, they all have this little gnarling or this little grip here on the side because they don't want you to drop the light. If it's hot, you're sweating, whatever the case is, you're in the water, they want to have grip on there so you don't drop it. That works to our advantage in the sense that if I have this light on me, I'm not allowed to carry a gun, I'm not allowed to carry a knife. I can use this as a self-defense weapon. Now, I remember back in the day, and I'm kind of showing my age, but back in the day, guns and knives and all these things weren't as big a deal as they are now. So there was more fist fighting going on, and I'm, I don't condone it by any means, but it was just what happened. And I remember being a kid and hearing about people would get a roll of quarters, and they would put a roll of quarters in their hand and hit with a roll of quarters. And it's supposed to make that hit that much harder, that much stronger. Instead of your hand pushing in and kind of softening that blow and maybe hurting yourself, you have something hard or tight to grip onto and it makes that hit that much harder. So if that's how you want to utilize this, you can utilize a flashlight in a self-defense situation if you had to go hands-on with somebody. Now the other thing that I like, this light is, is fairly minimal. You can see the crowning on there. This light has it as well. If you were in a really tight spot and this is what your last resort was, you can use this to just dig away at somebody and depending on where you're hitting them, I mean, they're going to feel that. If you hit meaty portions of the skin, it's still going to hurt. But if you're hitting bony portions, whether that's shins, whether that's hands, the back of their hands to get them to let go of something, wherever you're hitting, this is going to make a huge difference. Now, the other one, like I said, is the window break. This is a window break, and this is a flashlight. But the way we learned in the Marine Corps was, you know, anything, any and everything can be a weapon. And that's what I carry this for as a secondary. Yes, it's a flashlight. Yes, it's a window break. But if I needed to go to something like this, if I had to pull this out and start jabbing, guess what? I'm going to start jabbing with this. Flashlights are something that any and everybody can buy, any and everybody can carry. And like I said, unless there's very, very strict rules or laws wherever you're at, I don't see any reason why you can't carry a flashlight. Do I like guns? Do I like knives? All these other things? Of course I do. But... 
if you are getting into EDC, something like this is an amazing tool. Whether you drop something, you're at the movies, you drop something on the floor. Now I know that most smartphones or every smartphone, most phones nowadays have lights on them. I get that. But if your phone isn't on you, your phone's in airplane mode, like I said, you're in the movie theater, whatever the case is, I can just pull this out, turn the light on. Of course, now this one's not going to start for me. I can turn the lights on and they're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video as far as my favorite EDC item. These things are very inexpensive. The, the most expensive one was this one when I bought it back in 2005. And like I said, this thing was around $100 at the time. And then I threw in about another $35 for the bulb replacement. But all these other lights, you can get them 70, 80 bucks. These, this very, very inexpensive one, I think you can get this for 10 or 15 bucks. It's got the crowning on the front. This stylus right here, I want to say 20 bucks. The Smith & Wesson set that I got at Academy, I want to say I paid another 15 bucks. So these are all things that you can utilize in your EDC, obviously every day as a flashlight and as other things depending on what you're doing now keep in mind i'm not telling you guys to go out and start putting these in your knuckles and fighting people and again i don't condone that by any means however you need to preserve yourself preserve you know preserve life preserve your own life first so if you're in that situation where you feel that it's necessary to defend yourself to that extent you have an option you have a way to do that some of you guys, I know some of the, the viewers of this channel are, are younger kids and uh, they're not allowed to carry knives, they're not allowed to carry guns, different things like that. Get yourself a flashlight. You can do so much stuff with this little piece of equipment right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, what's your favorite EDC piece? What do you always have to have with you? Again, I always make sure I have a light. There are other things that I make sure I have, but as far as my favorite piece, an inexpensive piece that's the way to go for me thank you guys for watching this video there may or may not be a video next week and i have big news coming i'll let you guys know what's going on with that but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one